going back to that moment between you and Vinicius after the final whistle last yeah. week, um, why, why did you decide to go and hug him? What, what did you say to each other? And the message that you are opponents, but not ri bitter rivals in, in an environment, especially that he has to live in Spain. I went to hug him because he tried to rainbow flick me. <laughs> so it was kind of more like, um, please don't try that again because I don't want to be a meme or anything. Um, but I think, you know, boxers, they fight, they have a good battle and then they shake hands after. And I think that's the level of respect that I do have for him. Um, it was the same with any other player that I feel when it's a good game, you know, you go and give them that level of respect because they deserve it. You know, they're carrying a lot of pressure on their shoulders as well to take, you know, a massive club like that, you know, over the line in the Champions League. They've not done well in their league and, you know, this is their kind of the last prize that they need to go and win. Um, so... You show your respect to him, but as again, tomorrow night, if, if chosen, you know, there's, there's no respect after the whistle, I'll, I'll give him the respect that he deserves. But before then, you know, it's kind of dog eat dog. Coming back to Vinicius again, can you just tell us what goes through your mind when he's got that ball in front of you and he's, he's running at you? Because he's, he's got the pace, hasn't he? He's got the skills. And like you say, he's in the form of his, his life at the moment. I, I take it as any other game. You have to show him the level of respect. It's like I said, with... You know, Mbappe, when I played him in the World Cup, you, you give them respect with the, the, uh, that they deserve. But you, you're not going to just say, go and walk through and go and score. You know, I'm, I'm representing Manchester City. I'm representing a massive football club here and the ambition for this club is massive. So if I can't compete with these top players that are playing for Real Madrid, Paris Saint-Germain, you know, um, Chelsea or whatever it, it may be, then I shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be sat in this chair talking to you. You know, I need to make sure that I come against the best and, you know, I can deal with the best. How is Vinicius on the pitch? Do you think is him a provocative player? Um, I wouldn't say provocative player. I'd say he's a very good player. He, he, he does what he needs to do to get his team over the line. Um, I try not to get involved in it all. You know, if this something going on or someone's, you know, we'll call it trash talking, it, it doesn't really bother me. Um, I, I've been through, you know, things in my life that are more difficult than people trying to wind me up and get a reaction out of me. Um, but I think that he just lets his football do the talking. You know, they've seen a few clips of him going down a little bit easy, asking for yellow cards and stuff like that. It's part and parcel of the game. You're going to get it as soon as you can get an advantage on your opponent. You will try anything to do that and... You know, but I do think let's take not not take his football away from him. He's a, a very top player. 